Block along engine 5, 20, 28, 1, 23, truck 12 and 2, battalion 5, battalion 2, special off, rescue squad 1, ambulance 20, medic 5, responding for a structure. 2317 Wisconsin Avenue, Northwest, cross of Calvert Street. Operate on TAC Channel 07. Hey, good morning. It's uh, pretty early, and I just got awoken by a bunch of fire trucks running past the house, which isn't that big a deal because there is a fire station near me, but this one seemed to be a little bit more. Turns out there is a fire in a restaurant directly behind the vice president's house down here on Wisconsin Avenue, uh, just behind the back door of the vice president's place. So let's go check it out. So we're coming down Wisconsin Avenue here, just past the Russian embassy. This is the Russian embassy facility on the right. And it looks like they block traffic. Yeah, looks like the road's closed. And everybody's being shunted into Georgetown. Whoa, everybody's out. The buses are gonna have to detour. Oh. Oh, they're going to close the road off. I happen to know, because of my extensive dealings in the barbecue restaurant down here, that there's a side cut that I can cut back in behind the barbecue joint. There we go. Mm. Told you there was a sidewalk back here. Just a few steps. <laughs> this is what you get when you eat barbecue every week and you know the back door into the barbecue joint. Ooh. Sprig and Sprout, a Vietnamese restaurant. So-so, not really the best. <laughs> Definitely smells of smoke. Mm. Now right over here, behind the sushi restaurant, is the back door to the vice president's house. So down that alley, that's the vice president's house. Then it's sushi restaurant, and, uh, <laughs> an adult place, an Italian place, spa, and then the Vietnamese restaurant. So basically, right behind the vice president's house, we have this little fire. So the uh, Secret Service has also responded since it is so close to, to the Vice President's place. You see a uh, Secret Service crew. What a mess.
arson squad has arrived. All right, let's head back over here. See what's up at the vice president's. Don't know if they've gone to work. I would assume so. It's 927. Usually we can look up here and see like the motorcade lining up. Not today. There is a black car, just one. But no motorcycles, no police cars. If, if, if there is a motorcade, it's gonna be a while, I guess. The van going in. All vehicles going in, even police cars, Secret Service agents, and of course contractor vans are heavily searched when they enter the grounds. Those guys are picking up all the blue stones, putting all the blue stones back in the uh, the British flag that's there. That's got to be a boring task. So we're down around George Washington University Hospital. Kind of quiet on a crazy day. It'd be filled. I mean, just filled with ambulances down here. But. The bay it looks pretty empty today. Just one or two. This one's always here. I never actually see it go anywhere. I think it's like a command vehicle or something. Some sort of uh, buskers down here. Sometimes they play hustle chess down here. Guys play chess for money. Let's go down Lincoln Memorial. We can ditch the bike down there. So this is H and what is this, 23rd? Yeah, we're gonna go over to 24th and H Street. I've shown you a few of this, a few guys remember this, but for those who are new, you'll probably dig this. If I can find it, yep, it's right over there at that corner. So this is the intersection of 24th, 24th and H Street Northwest, and this is the center of the earth. This is the center of the world. This is the American Meridian. Back before the United States accepted the prime meridian in Greenwich, this was the dividing line between East and West. The Atlantic Hemisphere was on one side and the Pacific Hemisphere on the other, and this was the prime meridian for the United States. So, if you go straight down this road, you end up at what used to be the U.S. Naval Observatory. So this line was sort of connected to the old U.S. Naval Observatory, which was then repurposed as a Navy hospital and then became the original location of the OSS, which then became the Central Intelligence Agency. The original CIA headquarters is down at the U.S. Naval Observatory, the old one. And guess what? They're still there. Yeah. They still, very, very quietly, occupy one or two buildings down at this facility on the other side of this building. So, hey, let's go right over there on our way to the Lincoln Memorial. Why not? So basically, if I get this straight, from an American standpoint, the Central Intelligence Agency is the center of the world. <laughs> They straddle the prime, the American Meridian that once existed. So this is a rather large homeless camp down here in the shadow of the Watergate Hotel. And uh, these guys live here 24-7, unfortunately. That's the Saudi Embassy right over there. And as we make our way down this parkway, oh, interesting, there's a police car out there. Oh, he's catching speeders. Usually when I see a police car, I think he's doing some sort of motorcade, but... They do actually occasionally go after speeders, and that's what he's doing down there, sitting with a speed gun. I should go down and put up a sign saying speed trap ahead, because everybody likes to fly on this road. Okay, let's cut around this building, and up on the other side of the road, you will see a wall, and then you see a building with a dome. 
That building right up there, that was the original OSS CIA. The building and the building on the other side of it, which is a stone structure, we can't see from this angle. But that was the original Central Intelligence Agency, sitting right there on the grounds of the old U.S. Naval Observatory slash U.S. Navy Hospital. And I'm told there are still CIA operatives working there. And this is the State Department. This area of town is known as Foggy Bottom. Foggy Bottom is also a nickname for the State Department. In the parlance of Washington, people say, oh, what's going on on the Hill? They mean what's going on in the Congress. And they say, what's going on in Foggy Bottom? That's like, what does the State Department think? Let's go this way. Let's see if this Volkswagen wants to hit me. Not today. Whoa, that's a big bump. Hey, I know what I was going to show you guys the other day, but we didn't get around to it. Let's go down here. It's just, that looks like a stone cutter building. Okay, we can just park the bike for a second. Nobody will, nobody will yank it. It's, it's technically even rented to me. And this is the National, I think it was the National Science Foundation, National Academy of Science, something like that. And on the grounds of this place is the Albert Einstein sculpture. This is a very popular sculpture with the kids. Come over here. And see Albert Einstein's musings on relativity. It's pretty cool. So that's the National Academy of Sciences. I think they basically just give away money for research. National Academy of Science, National Academy of Engineering, National Academy of Medicine, and the National Research Council. They just threw a whole bunch of guys in the same building. Mm. So here is the Vietnam Wall. I took you guys here just the other day. Memorial Day. And let's head over. There's a bike rack on the other side. We're going to ditch this bike and we're just going to go for a walk. It's just so nice. I'd rather be walking than riding. Truth be told, and you're going to see it in Hong Kong, I actually prefer to walk. Um, but because of the vast distances here in Washington, the need to get from point A to point B all the time, uh, I bike a lot. Also because it makes a better camera angle. It makes for a better video if I'm smooth and steady rather than jerky, herky. Just a normal day. It's a pretty day here at the U.S. Capitol. Pretty quiet. Not much going on in the House and Senate are out of session. Down here at the U.S. Grant Memorial, there's a bunch of uh, school kids getting their class photo taken for their trip to Washington. That's the one thing that's changed in the last month is we're starting to get busloads of tourists come back to Washington. Not just the random one-off tourists, but a whole school full. Don't see much security today. There's a couple Capitol Hill police guys. They're usually stationed over here. National Guard has officially left, and unofficially I haven't seen any. So if there are any still, still around, they must be hiding somewhere. Because <laughs> I don't see them in public. But we still look for them every day. So the House and Senate are not in session. You can also kind of tell by this parking lot. This parking lot is basically empty. There is maybe two, a dozen cars, two dozen cars parked right here. Normally it would be full all the way down to that intersection, but not so much today. There's a protest over there. It's a, I think it's a Taiwan protest. 
and they've been chanting and yelling in English and in Chinese throughout the last half hour. Ah, all right, we're on a bike. We're gonna jump into the Pennsylvania Avenue bike lane, which is actually a really nice bike lane down the middle of Pennsylvania Avenue, leading all the way from the U.S. Capitol to the White House. And we'll just make our way across town. Ugh, cicada just flew up and hit me. So there's the big blue rooster on top of the National Gallery of Art East Building, the modern building. There's a homeless camp in front of the district court. One of many homeless camps in D.C. We're going to make this yellow light. We more or less made the yellow light. I think I took you up to, biked up this yesterday, so it's not like there's anything new. Let's go find a different road, yeah? Since I biked up this yesterday, let's go somewhere else. Let's be different. Let's go up 8th Street, 9th Street, and yeah, 9th Street. So there's the FBI building. Looks like they're getting ready for some construction on the FBI. And I think we got a second or two to cross over here. <laughs> wow, this road is so bumpy. Now back here is where you used to get the FBI tour. They used to give tours of the FBI, which would end with a special agent like firing a machine gun into the firing range. But since 9-11, the FBI tours have been pretty much on hiatus, which is a bummer. It was always a cool tour. Here's the Hard Rock Cafe. God, they've been here for like 30 years. I haven't been here in like 29. And then, just up here next to the Hard Rock Cafe, is Ford's Theater, where Abraham Lincoln was shot by John Wilkes Booth. It is still an actual theater, but mostly for tourists. Across the street is the house where Abraham Lincoln died. He was taken to that house. It was a doctor's house, I believe Dr. Peterson, who tried to save him, but the next day, President Lincoln had died. Where are we? We're in 10th Street, 11th, 11th Street. So the White House is at 16th Street, 15th, 16th. So we're about four or five blocks away from the White House right now. This is the beautiful old Woodward and Loper building. Look at that artwork on the side of that thing. Pretty amazing. Let me go closer and show you. They just re, re repaired all this recently, like in the last 20 years. The colorized. This had all been painted over. They had just painted it white. They said, ah, screw it. But then when they came back in like 2011, they decided to clean all of the old paint off and restore the original artwork that was here. Pretty impressive stuff. Oh, so uh, those black Suburbans that we saw go past us, those were actually uh, Secret Service or some other protective service. They kicked on their sirens to run the red light, and they're probably coming over here in just a moment. So we'll see who's coming in. Perhaps. I want to go over across the street. Yep. It's a small motorcade. That's a cabinet. Oh, it's a diplomat. DSS. Diplomatic State Security. They've got diplomatic license plates and they're being protected by U.S. government police cars. So I'm not sure who's in town today, some foreign head of state or some foreign diplomat. Where'd the ramp go? I put the ramp down here now. And we're back in Lafayette Park. It's with the guys with the funny hats we saw earlier at the World War II Memorial. They're still going with their funny hats. Doing some sort of cleaning over there. Like power washing the sidewalk or something. It's noisy, that's for sure. And what's up with the White House? Not a whole lot. A couple snipers on the roof. <laughs> 
Pebble Beach. Looks like a gray truck today. It's an odd looking vehicle back there inside West Executive Avenue. Let's go take a look at that, if we can get close. It's a contractor. Let's make our way back up to my neighborhood where we can get some lunch, dump the bike, get some lunch. So we're heading up in through Georgetown now. This is Katie Graham's house on the right. She was the publisher of the Washington Post. Before that, it was Bill Donovan's house, who was the founder of the OSS, precursor to the CIA. I'm not sure who owns it now. I think the house is being renovated. This was the grand mansion of Washington of the Georgetown salon set in the 1970s and 80s and 90s. Anyone who was anyone would come to this house for a cocktail party with Catherine Graham and the power brokers of Washington. Not so much anymore, but I hear Jeff Bezos is trying to take that role. He's the new publisher of the Washington Post, the owner. And apparently his house is designed for entertaining the best and the brightest and the powerful in Washington. We will see. Incoming dogs. This is like a dog clown car. <laughs> I don't know how they're all going to fit in that car. <laughs> it's like the land of cicadas back here. I just hear tons of them. I actually got two because my kid's coming down from the school. So I'm gonna eat one, he's gonna eat the other. These are so good. 